Hello, in this video we're being asked to find the domain of this logarithmic function. So if it was just the log of x, then the domain would just be the positive numbers, so x greater than zero. But here it's the log of all of this stuff. So all of this stuff has to be greater than zero. So the very first step is to take all of that, so x plus one, over x minus 5 and set all of that greater than 0. So there's a couple ways to solve this. We could do it graphically or we can use something called the test point method. Let's do it that way. So the test point method. So using the test point method, the first step is to make sure that we have a single term on one side and zero on the other side. And we have that in this problem. The second step in the test point method is to set each piece equal to zero. So we set the top piece, x plus one, equal to zero. And we set the bottom piece, x minus five, equal to zero. And then we solve, so x equals negative one, x equals 5. So again, step one, make sure there's a single term on one side and zero on the other. That was done for us. Step two, you set each piece equal to zero. Okay, we're looking for when they are equal to zero. The next step is to actually plot these two numbers on a number line and pick test points. So here is negative one and here is five. And what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to pick a number over here, less than negative one, and plug it into this. And if it's true, you shade over here. If it's not true, you don't shade. Then you're supposed to pick a number between negative one and five and plug it into this. And if it's true, you shade. And if it's not true, you don't shade. Then you have to pick another number over here and plug it in over here again. And if it's true, you shade. And if it's not true, you don't shade. So I'm going to show you a trick. So let's pick the easiest number in the world besides these, 0. So let's check 0. So 0 is from here. So we're picking a number from here. If you plug it in here, so we have 0 plus 1 over 0 minus 5. And we want to see if that is greater than 0. So this will be negative one over five, and we want to see if that is greater than zero. It is not, so no. So because it's false, we don't shade. And so the trick is, you shade in the other ones. You might say, why? Because the pattern for these problems is always going to be shade, no shade, shade, no shade. And that will always work as long as nothing is being squared here. So because it wasn't true, we didn't shade here, and we shaded in the other ones. Let's suppose it had been true. Then in that case, the answer would look different. In that case, you would just shade, and that would be it. So if it was yes, you would shade here. Because it's no, you're shading the other ones. Let's go ahead and write the answer down now. We use parentheses because we have a strict inequality. You'll find that always happens in these problems with logs and domain. So the final answer will be negative infinity to negative 1 union 5 to infinity and that will be the domain of this logarithmic function. I hope this video has been helpful to you. Good luck.